I'm a tuba judge. Now, yesterday, you know, there, there's a lot I need to share with you. Praise <laughs> God. You know, when we start like this, oh, we, 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 you just have to remember the spirit of the prophet is subject to the prophet. So, you know, okay. All right. All right. Let's go into what the, we, we uh, you know, I've been trying to get to you. Now, I've talked to you about how to receive faith. It comes by hearing and hearing the voice of God. And you must be sure that Jesus is the author of your faith. Not as Jesus must be the one that have spoken to you. See, for I want a car, for example. You know, we use physical things because that's what you can relate with. And then we, we go into the real thing, which is the spiritual. Praise God. I want a, a, a car, for example. You know, and, and I don't just go to the car shop and point at the car and say, I received this car. This is my car. I have faith in it. I have faith and I will get it in Jesus' name. Amen. No, no, no. You, you see the car you like. There is nothing wrong in having desires. It's not worldly. Come on. No, no, no. It's not worldly. What makes it worldly is when you want to use a worldly means to achieve your desire. Do you understand what I'm saying? You can desire to be the richest man in the world. There is nothing wrong with it. You can desire to be whatever you want to be. There is nothing wrong with it. Now, that's, that, those are the things I'm going to be sharing with you. And you, you you're going to see how it works. Now then, so you, you see a car you like, fine, there's nothing wrong with it. You, you go before the Lord, that's where it begins. You go before the Lord and say, Lord, I, I just love this car. I don't know what you think about it, but, but I love that car. And he's heard you. Just that simple statement you made. He's heard you. Oh, I can tell you this from mounts and, and mounts and mounts of experience. He's heard you. Now, what do you do? Relax. Oh, you know, let me not just jump and let's go to this now. He says, add to your faith virtue. Now, that's what Peter says here in verse 5, 2 Peter chapter, chapter 1. He says, and beside the giving all diligence, add to your faith. Now, I've told you how faith comes. Now, when faith comes, this is what you do with faith. He says, add, don't just leave faith. Now, this is your responsibility to faith. Oh, you need to catch this. This is your responsibility when faith comes. Your work has started. <laughs> okay. Now then. I went before the Lord and the Lord gave me his word. So faith has come. Now he is telling you here that, hey, now that faith has come, add to faith. What should I add to faith? Virtue. What is virtue? Excellence. What is excellence? Let me put it in the way we, we, we cannot relate with it. Class. Add to your faith class. Add some class to your faith. Now that is your responsibility. Now listen. If the word of the Lord comes to you and says, I'll give you a car this month. Or you will receive a car this month. Now, you heard God. You, now, you can hear him. It doesn't mean you were praying and fasting. And then he said, my son, I will give you the car this month. No, you, you can be walking on the road. You can be in a bus. You can, you can even be on a bike. You know what I'm talking about? How noisy a bike. And then you're just like, oh, God, dear Lord, when, when will I stop entering bikes? When will I stop trekking? And then you, you just heard the voice of the Lord and said, son, this month, you will get a car. Now, you've heard the voice of God, so faith has come. And then you, you I mean, when that word comes to you, if, if it has happened to you, you know what I'm talking about. There's, there's just this excitement and, and, and peace that just pervades your heart. And then you, you go and you keep telling, so you know what, I'll get my car this month. I'll get my car this month. Now, faith has come. You are excited. But listen, he says, add class to your faith. Now, the fact that the word of God has come to you, that you will receive your car this month. Now, it can be a car that is 20 years old. It can be a car that is rusted. It can be a brand new car. It can, it can just be any car. Do you understand what I'm saying? To you, the fact that a car came, is a test it came the month that the lord said is a testimony that that you know god spoke to you and it came to pass it's a testimony but now peter is telling you that look do something to that faith add class to it so 
So, so what do I do? Now you go before the Lord and say, Lord, I know you're the one that's going to give me this car. Now I'm thinking about your ability. Remember, he says he is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think. Right? All right. So according to your level of receiving, See, now, that's why scripture says don't think more highly of yourself. But well, let's, 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 let's follow this carefully now. So now I'm, I'm adding class to my faith. So the Lord says he's going to give me this car. Is it going to be by my labor? Is it going to be by my toiling? Is it going to be by my salary? Okay, I've saved up this amount of money. Is the Lord saying I should go now and prize a car? Uh-uh, uh-uh. Now, you must put class to your faith by setting a standard. Do you understand what I'm saying? You just know that, you know, Lord, I'm not just expecting any car from you. This is, this is what I need. See, I need a four-wheel drive. That's, that's when you... You see, let me, let me tell you something. Remember, it says, Jesus is the author and finisher of our faith. Now, he told you you get a car. Or whatever it is. He may tell you you will marry. You're going to get married. See, the fact that God told you you're going to get married this year. You, you just sit down there and say, you know what? Uh, maybe it's getting to the end of the year. You, you have a, a, a spouse already. And then everything is said, but there's no money. And they say, you know what? The Lord will get married this year. Let's just go to church and, and get married. And we know that we are married. Let's fulfill the word of the Lord. Whether there is food or no food, whether there's gown or no gown, whether there's come on, come on. Now that's where you need to add some value to your faith, where you need to add some class to your faith. You need it. If not, see, your testimony will not be full and your joy will not be full. You know, God doesn't necessarily want to, you to share a testimony and you're saying, I wish, I, I, I wish it was better. No, 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 no. He wants your joy to be full. What did Jesus say? Ask that you will receive that your joy may be full. See, like I say, I, I usually say that when I talk about this thing. You, you may have faith for God to feed you. And all you'll be getting is Gary to drink. You know what I'm talking about? And you think, you know what, see, I don't know how it happens. Somebody just walks up to my door and... and gives me gary and, and, and stuff to drink with it i don't know how it happens but it just happens every day now it's a testimony to you but you know what you can add some class to that how lord if you can be sending someone to bring gary for me you can also send someone to bring fried rice and you can send someone to bring chicken for me oh yeah now what are you doing you're adding value you're adding class to your faith Praise God. <laughs> We're going to stop here today. But we'll continue from this very spot tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye-bye.